And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our first Hitman Fight League versus CFS Contest. This bout will be fought for the ISKA British title over five two-minute rounds of semi-pro K1 rules in the 67 kilogram division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a CFS fighter. He represents Stone Fight Academy. Please welcome Adam Langhammer. And facing him this evening in the red corner, he represents the Hitman Fight League. He fights out of the South End Combat Academy. Please welcome Reggie Little. Well then, Gavin, our first clash mm. of CFS versus the Hitman Fight League. So, Adam Langemat from the Stone Fight Academy, 31 years of age, originally from Poland. He's a martial arts coach, a unique style. He says he's younger, he's hungry. And he's really, really ready to put on a performance. A man of many passions, but he absolutely adores combat sports. His opponent, Reggie Little, from the South End Academy. A pro kickboxer. He got into training to lose weight. His dad made him go to the gym and he fell in love with it. Fair play to his dad for backing his son. And let's see if he can get a victory. Make all that effort worthwhile, we'll see. Good fight here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Here. CFS versus the Hitman fight. So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our first Hitman Fight League versus CFS contest. This bout will be fought for the ISKA British title over five two minute rounds of semi pro K1 rules in the 67 kilogram division. Once again, let's welcome to the blue corner, a CFS fighter, is Adam Langhammer. And facing this evening in the red corner, he represents the Hitman Fight League from the South End Combat Academy, Reggie Little. Your referee in charge when the bell rings, Mr. Ricky Shaw. Reggie Little then, 19 years of age, 31 years of age for Adam Langema. Five two-minute rounds for the British title. The English style has just been contested, and this is at 67 kilos, 147 Round pounds, one. well to wait as a snap. Every kick to start off with. Yeah. Don't think this is going to go the distance, Gavin. No, it doesn't look like no. it, does it? No, <laughs> not at all. Exchanges are rough. No head moves from either no. man either. They're going to get caught. Both of them are going to caught with shots. Polish fighter Adam, strong, got the right hand glued to his face.
both scoring with good techniques, they're clean techniques as well. He's looking for the right opportunity little here. He's trying to pick something. You've got to make things happen sometimes. You've got to work until yeah, the opportunity shows itself, you know? He's stepped off. Yeah. Good right hand. Marching forward, Adam Strong. Stature with him. A little bit stiff in his technique, but when he's landing, so you can see that there's a little bit of bite behind yeah, it. He's got to be careful though, he's throwing those shots like that. He, hold, he holds his hands there on, the, on, the, on his opponent, and his chin's in the air. He's wide open for counter punches. Doesn't get his hands back to his, to his chin quick enough. He leaves them out there. Yeah. Got to watch it, Reggie Little. If he starts to step a little bit quicker, Adam Langema will land clean. You can hear the heaviness. And give that round to Adam Gavin. Seems to be scoring with the technique. The beginning of the round, Reggie did well. And then Adam just started to come forward yeah. and to give the dominance with that little bit of extra pressure. I think with Little as well, it's like, because there was a lot of movement for, sometimes he was moving for movement's sake there. He wasn't giving in Langhammer anything to keep him off or to keep him, you know, to deter him either. He was just marching forward at him, landing his shots. Round two then, sharp combinations going in from Little. Shot. Redden on the face though of the Polish fighter, Adam Langema. Adam seen Reggie those we've angles. seen Reggie before Gavin, he's a good fighter, obviously from a good gym anyway. Yeah, Adam Both starts really. to start working angles a little bit more. He's just, he's just, he's just straight up and straight down. He's forwards and backwards. And little, as you see, he's starting to move round and, and, and find those angles better, landing shots. You know when someone's glued the hands to the face with that mm. right hand, somewhere on the line they've had an encounter with left hook that they haven't yeah. enjoyed. Yeah. You know, or they come from a very. Eastern Ooh, European good shot. background. That left hook started to land now. That was a good shot. Good kid, this little. He's only 19. Good body kick. He's getting caught coming in, Adam. Ooh, good, good left, left hook as well. Looking for that now. Coming forward all the time, Adam, but I don't know if he's going to burn out. Here he he's going to gas out. He's taking a lot of punishment. Yeah. Reggie wants to run that left hook. He's to throw the right hand first. Big fight this now, has not it? Coming to a real big fight. Just dabbing King Oy, Dongs in the corner here. Needs to come back with something, Reggie. Big shots going in. This is nice. Lovely. Great round. It's a good round now. Let's fair play to them both. Took a bit of shellacking in the corner, Reggie Little. He didn't look hurt though, did he? he didn't land. No, he didn't. He didn't look hurt. He came out of that, out of that exchange and he looked okay. But yeah, he's just got a throw at right hand. He's, he's looking at that left hook. He's got a throw at right hand first. Yeah, I agree. Well, he just joined us here, ladies and gentlemen, on CFS versus the Hitman Fight League, or Hitman Fight League versus CFS. We're not, for, not fussy, really. 
We've had an absolute great, great start to what is going to be an absolute wonderful card of fights. Just stay tuned with us because we are going to bring you some absolute scorchers and an announcement Round later on. Three. Round three then. Good movement. Sharp. Slow down a hell of a lot, Adam. He took, a lot, of, he took yeah. a lot of shots in that last round. Took a lot out of him at the end and, of that round that, as well. Yeah, and, and he, he output he, a lot of energy uh, expended. And his style's quite stiff as well. It is quite energy yeah. sapping, that kind of thing. Slow down, really. Yeah. His feet have slowed down. He sees his youthful flair here. Using the, ring, using, using the ring well yeah. this round. Oh, that was a lovely, lovely left up. He's got a bit of meat on you know, those if shots. If he stops and threw boxing combinations, he's going to land clean yeah. that like he did there. If he stops moving and just let his shots go. But he's strong, isn't he, 31-year-old? It, 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 uh, yeah. it hit like harder, too. Yes. Jumping punch, the first clean technique scored by Adam. It's better for me. Has to work quicker. Thing is, Little's landed the better shots in this round, but. You could argue, Adam just snuck it. Yeah, I, I don't know what that round is like. It's that. like that, isn't it? Because you, you, you can get yeah. lost in a bit of a false sense of security there if you, if you, if you, um, Reggie Little, because you know he's landing them good shots, he's landing them good left hooks, and they are, they are notable. Yeah. But he's not doing enough of it for me. He's got to really take the authority. Well, if you just joined us here. We are witnessing some very good fights. Indeed, these are a British K1 title. And the fight is Reggie Little for the Hitman Fight League, CFS's Adam Langema. Very, very hard fight to score, but we'll see what the judges do. The very best judges you can get in the game. Ricky Sewell is our referee and orders our two combatants to the centre of the ring. Round four. Round four, the end of a five-round contest. Ooh, good shots. shots. Two good shots there. That's the way. Ooh, Adam just missed with the right hand then. He's got a good future, Little, regardless of what happens here. He's landing clean now, showing some good technique here. Very nice. Real eye catching punches. Adam's taking them well, though. Good chin. <laughs> left hook and a right hand. That look, left hook from Little has landed well. The right hand as well. That long right hand. He's really got no man strength, really little, but when he does mm. have, he's going to cause a lot of problems yeah. for people. <laughs> Swelling on the eye of the Polish fighter, and the left eye starting to go, starting to uh, grow that, Gavin. Little look at the clock there. He's, he's feeling yeah. this pace in this round. He is. 
But he scored well to begin the round, but he's yeah. letting Adam back in this yeah, game. Yeah, he's mo over moving, isn't he? I, I, I think, yeah. I think he's just. I think it just purely is feeling that pace because Adam hasn't stopped coming forward at all. He had confidence in yourself to just let his shots yeah. off and stand. Stand off, yeah. Just hold your feet a little bit and, and, and let, let the shots go. I think Adam's one of them types of fighters. He'll always come forward no matter what. And I think that if you if you have the ability to push Adam back, I think he would. I think he would really struggle to go backwards. You got to give credit though to Adam. Rock hard though, isn't oh, yeah. he? Coming tough, forward and just yeah, always. For sure. Have you ever seen a Polish fight that's not? No, no. It's in the. It's in the. Uh, it's, it's in the, the DNA. It's in the isn't national it? DNA. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's tough, tough people. It's in school. It's in the curriculum at school. Tough classes. Tough class. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round of applause for the fifth and final round. Fifth and final round, then. Let's see. Good start this round from Adam. Yeah. Has to be Gav. Strong jab. That's when he, see, he takes the power off himself. Yeah. When he could stand and let his shots off. Really ripped them in, yeah. Score a lot mm. better. Banging in shots, the facial expressions of both covered in blood for Adam. Smears of blood round the face, but an open mouth from Reggie Little. It's been a hard fought contest. But I believe that Reggie Little is edging this. Good fight, this. We've not had a dull moment, have we, today? Not at all, at no. All. Every single and fight. And it's only the undercard. That's what I mean. Every single fight's just been, been high quality. Proper fights. Good fight, this kid. Reggie Little can fight, can't he? And so can Adam. A good fight, oh, it's a good, it's a well matched fight, this. Oi. Ooh, good job, this was not an earlier round, Gavin. There was more power behind that yeah. kick. Brilliant. Superb they punched fight each other's men. lights out, really, didn't they? Really good They fight really out. had a go. Fair play to them. You know, it's only a, it's only a novice contest, really, a British title. And um, you've got to give them credit. It's only a semi-pro fight. That was a good fight. Fair play to them. It didn't feel semi-pro. Nice combinations. I think I think uh, Little just felt the felt the pace in this round. Both men did. It was a, a grueling fight, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a grueler, wasn't it? And um, it was a good fight. And they give a really good account of themselves. And fair play to both boxers. Congratulations, gentlemen, if you're watching this later on. And both really did give us value for money. But I believe that Reggie Little has this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a fantastic British title contest. A round of applause for these gladiators. Come on. And after five terrific rounds of K1 action, we go to the judges' scorecards, where they have reached the unanimous decision. Let's hear it for your winner and new ISKA K1 British champion in the red corner, Reggie. Little. Look at the future, Reggie Little. I enjoyed watching.